Welcome to week seven of my Mallorca training vlog. Unfortunately, this week hasn't been the busiest week on the bike for me. Um, I've only managed to go out and do two rides, uh, and that's basically one spinning session and one 50 kilometer road ride. Now the reason for this is essentially I had to go out and do the day job. Um, unfortunately, I'm still burdened with having to earn a living uh, and that's taken me away from my training. On the plus side though, the two rides that I did do were fairly beneficial. On Tuesday, I did a spinning session uh, and basically this was what my spinning instructor called a race day. So essentially we had a video of a cyclist going up the Stelvio Pass uh, and we were sort of riding at our threshold limit to kind of keep up with them. Uh, now, the long and the short of this spinning session was that I was maintaining uh, 80 plus percent of my maximum heart rate. So I was, yeah, 81, 82. At one point I was like 86 percent of my max heart rate. And I sustained that for at least 35 minutes. So for that time, I didn't go under 80% at all. Now this rather hard spinning session served two purposes. On the surface, it was actually sort of doing me some good, building up my stamina, building up my speed, building up my resistance to lactic acid. That was the first benefit. And the other benefit, which I think was probably just as important, was the psychological benefit of knowing that I can sustain a really hard effort, so again, above 80% of my maximum heart rate, for at least 35 minutes. So this stood me in really good stead when I went out on Thursday and did my second ever 50 kilometer ride in about a year. Now, if you saw last week's vlog, you'll remember that I did my first 50 kilometer ride in about a year, uh, and I found it a little bit hard. So today, when I went out, uh, again, I deliberately kind of took things easy. Uh, I also chose a route that was a lot easier than the one I did last week. So I rode into like a block headwind for about 15 kilometers. And then I turned, uh, so obviously I had the, uh, the wind at my back. So it now formed a tailwind, which kind of pushed me along. Uh, the route was also fairly kind. So once I'd initially climbed up to the turn, um, it was pretty much downhill all the way and it was almost like riding a little moped the speeds that I was doing it felt absolutely fantastic on the climbs that there were on this 50 kilometer ride I did notice that my heart rate was starting to climb so when it got to like 80 81 82 percent I didn't panic because I knew that thanks to Tuesday's spinning class I knew that I could sustain that effort and more for a lot longer than maybe you know the 500 meters of the little climb that I was going up at the time. I also deliberately chose the route so that the last 10 kilometers would be exactly the same as the first 50 kilometer ride that I did the week earlier. Now the reason I did this was so that I would have some kind of like for like direct comparison to my performance on Thursday to how I performed last week. And I have to say that the results were pretty pleasing. Last week when I went up the climb, uh, my heart rate was climbing above 82, 83, and I think in some cases it was going up to like 85, 86%. Uh, but when I rode this week, uh, it was nowhere near as high. I didn't feel anywhere near as tired. I was able to kind of relax a bit more uh, just focus on my cadence, focus on my technique, focus on my breathing, and I just kind of chugged my way up the climb. Uh, and when I got to the top, I felt pretty good. And then the rest of the ride home uh, was almost a breeze. Under normal circumstances, my plan for next week would be to go out and do another couple of 50 kilometer rides. But unfortunately, I've got another busy week ahead of me and I won't be able to do that. So if I can get a single road ride in next week, I'll consider myself very lucky. Up until now, the rides that I've been doing have all been solo. 
um, but I think I may have found a group to ride with so once I'm starting to feel just a bit fitter and able to keep up I'll be trying to join them on their regular club run uh, and once I do that then I think that uh, my speed will start to, to increase my strength will start to increase as I try and hang on to the wheel of the person in front of me. So are you training for an event? Please let me know all about it in the comments below. And if you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.